next section I want to discuss has to do with cell memory because most lasers in the field currently are working on the principle of donating energy, which we've discussed. Donating energy stimulates cells to grow healthy new cells. What makes our, our system, the scalar wave laser, the most revolutionary laser on the planet is the fact that we're tweaking other variables to the light. Most companies that make lasers are doing pr pretty much the same thing. They're working with the power output and the frequency. What makes our lasers revolutionary is that we're adjusting, modulating other uh, attributes of the wave of the laser. We're tweaking some other attributes which makes our lasers much more versatile to be used for lots of different purposes. The main one being cell memory. Cell memory is a fascinating area in quantum physics right now and the view is that your body is constantly regenerating. Cells are constantly replicating. Anyone who tells you that the body doesn't regenerate is simply not telling you the truth. The only thing the body does consistently is to regenerate. And our whole system, our laser system, and the unified field protocol that we're going to get into today all address this process of rejuvenation. It's our view that cells love to grow. They're very good at growing new cells. And the laser is, lasers are a phenomenal way to assist the cells to grow. So in the traditional sense of using lasers, lasers donate energy and the cells replicate more efficiently. Our view is that the primary problem that we're dealing with with injuries and disease is that there's a cell memory. In other words, if you have an injury that goes back 10, 15 years and your body is totally new every seven or eight years, which is what the quantum theorists say, then why do you still have that injury? The view in the quantum arena is that there's a cell memory that gets passed from old cell to new cell, from new, to, again to the new cell. And so as this process keeps going, the cell, although it's a new cell, inherits the dysfunction and the disease and the stress and the tension. So it acts and behaves like the old cell that was injury, had injury and stress. So the view that we take with our laser, the scalar wave laser, which is a totally unique laser system based on quantum physics, is to address this cell memory. We actually modulate the wave in such a fashion that we are able to subtly shift the cell memory out of the state of contraction and stress into a neutral unified state. That is the whole premise of our laser system and the protocol that goes along with it. So to give you an example, someone has an, a knee injury or a back injury, you can use the laser to regenerate the, the cells, but if you don't deal with neutralizing, the, actually the process works very similar to how a cassette recorder, if you remember the old cassette recorders uh, used to work, where if you wanted to change the actual material that was on it, you neutralize, you change the polarity, and that neutralized the information. The body is the same way. The body holds information, whether it's in the cells, whether it's in the organs or the glands or the quantum space of the actual chakras and energy plexuses, it's holding this information and referencing that information from the past to the present to the future. What our laser does, because we, we activate something called a scalar wave, and a scalar wave, which we'll discuss a little bit later, is a phenomenal way to quickly and efficiently neutralize all cell memory.